welcome. Welcome back to Bambi Bakes. I am the Bambi Bakes Kool-Aid. And I am joined on the couch with your favorite, my favorite, everyone's favorite, blown out bussy Zola. Zola, how are you feeling today? How's it going? How are you feeling? What's going on? Did you eat anything fun recently? I ate that damn cake, child. You ate some of the cake? I did eat some of the cake. How does it have you feeling? You can let it out. You can share here. I feel love. Oh, love that. Love that. And we are also joined with our baker from last week, Ken Falk. How are you doing? Good. Good? How are you feeling? Did you have some cake as well? Yeah. Oh, love it. Love it. You feeling it? You feeling mm -hmm. fun? I love the cake. It was great. Very moist. Very, oh, the coconut cream. It was a coconut mango strawberry. Coconut mango strawberry frosting. Beautiful, beautiful, great work. Thank you so much. Beautiful gown. <laughs> now that we ate that, we're going to segue into a segment called She Ate That, where we watch some of your most iconic moments where you ate the girls up, or some of your activism moments where you bite back at the system. Last summer, there was a black drag march in Chicago where a lot of queens spoke, such as Shay, Dita, and Vixen, and Zola where their speeches left us speechless. Let's check it out. I shouldn't have to be here. I'm 22 years old, freshly so. I am blossoming as an artist and musician and I've just begun flourishing into a being that I am proud to be. I've existed within this vessel, within this experience of life for two decades. I should not have to be here. I stand here amongst you all and I am asked to speak, to, to advocate, and to persuade. I am to persuade those to not just value, but to humanize my existence. To those, I am a secret to be kept. To those, I am a liability until dealt with. To those, I am a mouth to close. To those, I am a loose end to tie up. To those, I am blood dripping down from the ceiling of their minds and into their eyes. And my, my, are those tears. Are those tears. Red ruby relinquishes. Are those tears because you keep my body in its last milliseconds of corporeal existence sliced and disfigured within the very attic of your psyche? And now the blood from my body floods your mind and swells out as tears. Are those tears? I should not have to be here. So, Zola, you are quite young, right? You know, some would say. <laughs> and how did it feel being so young, standing next to so many uh, legendary queer performers and um, them asking you to join them up there and share some of your own words and you basically having one of the strongest messages up there, I felt personally, being someone who was at the drag march. It was honestly very, very, very surreal. And just like, literally an hour and 45 minutes before the march, getting really high in my room and writing that speech and editing, editing it in the car right there. And I was like, it is so all very like cosmically and like spiritually like, placed and like, for a lot of it, it didn't really feel like it was me. You felt like it was just like something. I, well, I felt like it was more than just me. A I spiritual just, like, moment. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Hmm. Have you actually watched it back uh, before today? I can never get through it. No? To be quite honest. It's like, sometimes like, I don't know. Sometimes it feels kind of overwhelming. Her, we stand a freedom fighting baddie. Speaking of baddie, here's another clip where you ate the girls up. Uh, do you read this? Oh, <laughs> it's the TikTok. Oh, my busted challenge. Is this your bus or chain? Oh! Uh-uh! Oh! God really showed me my whole ass. Okay. Yes! So what do you have to say for yourself? Yes, I do have 16 baby daddies. And I suck dick on the weekends at school. And I smoke cigarettes too. I don't care what my mama got to say. I don't care what Dr. Phil got to say. I'm a bad bitch and I'm gonna live my life. Damn. And those are wise words from Zola. 
Oh girl, now that we've ate, I'm stuffed. <laughs> With knowledge, that is. <laughs> so I think it's high time to take a break and cut loose. Now I bet you didn't know that the first ever video game, Pong, came out way back in 1970, 1972. Well, Zola, we got ourselves a little 3D set here, so I thought we could spice it up and play a little Never Have I Ever version. Ken, are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> so the point of the game is we're gonna shoot it in one of the cups. If you get it in one of the cups, you get to ask a question. If you don't, you get to pass it to the next person. Okay. Whoever is out first loses. Whoever has many fingers up last wins. Did that make sense? I hope that made sense at home, kids. That hole is so tiny. It is. I We're gonna make it work. Back to me before. Okay, I'll I'll start. Should I start? Yeah. I'll start. Bambi. What? Oh what? Uh, oh. Okay. So, now I'm thinking of a question, fuck. Never have I ever been caught smoking weed. Ever, actually, by anyone. <laughs> I'm grown. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't, I was a good girl. Until I wasn't. Not me. One finger down? Yeah. Period, period. Oh no. <laughs> Uh-uh! Oh, okay. Wait, did it go in? No. no. It did. Okay. It went in. That's what I thought. So. Okay, yeah. Um, oh. Never have I ever dated a man in 2021? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Take him possible, what's the sitch? Win <laughs> this ball up in that bitch. Period. What the heck? Never have I ever lived anywhere but Chicago. God damn it. <laughs> hmm. Never have I ever been out of the country. Am I out? You're out. <gasps> Oof. Zola? Damn. This is gonna be really vicious because I really want to win. Uh huh. Um, never have I ever been over the age of 18 for four years. What the fuck? <laughs> I win! <laughs> <laughs> well, Zola, thank you so much for joining us this week for some coconut rum cake. Ken, thank you so much for teaching us how to make coconut rum cake. Um, and a hot little round of Pong and never have I ever. Do you have anything to plug? Go follow Melissa Chicago on Instagram. Mm hmm And stay tuned for projects that we're doing in the near future, because we are, and we will be announcing them soon. Amazing. And Ken, do you have anything to plug? Yeah, my Instagram, block them at Instagram. Um, I have a really big project coming up also. I have a few collaborations coming up as well. So I would just, yeah, check out my Instagram. Oh, same. Those announcements. Blown out bussy. Check, check that bitch out. It's wide. Very <laughs> wide spectrum of things. Thank you so much. And this has been another edition of Bambi Bakes. I'm your host, Bambi Banks Coule. Meet us next week back in the kitchen when we bake with more special guests and decolonize weed from the kitchen to the couch. Bye. Bye.